Thank you so much for joining me for this video, which is a closer look at branded E-Match igniters, in this case, MJG JTEC igniters. By closer look, I mean filming batches of these igniters going off at 120 frames per second to see how they perform. In a previous video, I tested unbranded igniters in the same way and found a wide variance in performance from low power output to high, so I'm interested to see whether branded igniters fare any differently. Before we go any further, a full product disclosure. I actually purchased this box of 80 igniters entirely with my own money. I don't sell igniters or firing systems and there's no affiliate codes to buy these either. So I'm not financially incentivized to either rate or dislike this product either way. However, in the interests of complete transparency, I did receive a free Tunnox Caramel wafer bar with this order from Easy Pyro. So you'll have to decide amongst yourselves whether that means I am completely corrupt. Let's take a closer look at the igniters then, starting with the box. You can see two things that I've not had with my unbranded igniters, a batch number, which looks to be the manufacture date, plus a use-by date. The manufacture date, as you can see here, is May 2019, and the use-by date is April 2021. So given that it's November 2022, you can appreciate my immediate concern here. I emailed Andrew at Easy Pyro about this. He reassured me that igniters have a shelf life usually of up to 10 years, that the date on these is more for compliance with CE than for performance reasons, and I can safely ignore it. Also on the front of the box is some technical data, so feel free to freeze the frame if you'd like to have a read, and note the country of manufacture is Mexico. Looking inside the box now, and you can see a very large date of manufacture stamped on the inside of the lid. The igniters are bundled in 40s. Looking more closely at the igniters now, like the unbranded ones, these have a plastic shroud, which if you want to, you can push back. Here's a look at the igniter head itself. If we put these side by side with unbranded igniters, with the shrouds up, there's not a lot of difference between them. But when we push back the shrouds to look at the match heads themselves, there is a little bit of a difference. Let me pop up a couple of photos here so you can see this in more detail. The JTEC ones seem to have a bigger solder joint, but a smaller igniter head. The test setup then is the same as my previous unbranded igniter tests. So we have 10 igniters all mounted on a piece of wood. I've done this so that I can pull the match head down as far as possible in the shroud. So it's in the same position for each one. They are wired in series. And for this test, I'm using my Ignite firing system. And for filming, I'm using the same settings, the same scale, and so on as the unbranded igniters, so we can do direct comparisons if we need to. So this is being filmed from a little bit of a distance away, but with a telephoto lens, so that all the igniters appear to be the same size on the frame. OK, let's crack on then and fire the first 10 JTEC igniters. Right, so an immediate problem there, only one igniter fired. This is quite interesting because Ignite had no problems firing 10 unbranded igniters wired in series in an almost identical setup. But the specifications of the JTEC igniters are obviously different. For the purposes of getting footage for this test, because this is not a test of the capacity of a firing system, but rather what the igniters themselves do, I'm gonna try dropping down to firing five at a time and see how we get on with this. Five fired okay, but everything happened in the blink of an eye, so let's have a look in slow motion and see what's going on. These actually fire very, very quickly and significantly more violently than the unbranded igniters. They were more of an explosion of sparks rather than a flame. Note that the one on the left seems slightly less powerful. Just to recap from my previous video of unbranded igniters, let's have a look at a batch of 10 of those going off in slow motion. I think you'll be able to clearly see the differences here. These fire less violently, have more of a flame, and that flame lasts a bit longer. Let's fire another five JTEC igniters now to make sure there's no surprises. Again, let's look at that in slow motion. A similar result to the first five, and with a powerful and quick ignition, even at 120 frames per second. Note, in this case, the one on the right this time seems to have a slightly smaller effect. 
The original idea then was to film everything in the same position and same scale as my unbranded test so we can directly overlay things and compare them. However, with the sparks from these flying right off the top of the frame, I decided to abandon this idea and I'm going to reposition the camera now with the igniters at the bottom so we can get a better idea of how far the sparks from these are flying out. So with that in mind, let's fire another five. And in slow motion. In this case, the two on the right seem slightly less potent than the others, but even so, look how high the sparks are flying here. Let's do another five. And in slow motion. The second one along was the runt of the litter here. And another five, just for good measure. And in slow motion. There's a mixture of power levels here, the three on the far right being the least powerful. With 25 igniters fired, or 26 actually if you include the first one and there being no problems, I thought what I'd do now is fire a mixture of two JTEC igniters and two unbranded ones side by side, so we can directly compare in the same video. I figured this would be a lot easier than trying to superimpose video afterwards, so let's have a look to see how that went. You may have noticed that actually only two igniters fired. Let's have a look in slow motion. You can see two JTEC igniters firing, but the unbranded ones aren't. I think what's happening here is the two JTEC igniters are firing first and breaking the series circuit. So the unbranded ones can't fire. An important lesson here then not to mix branded and unbranded igniters. There's an easy way around this and that's to wire it in parallel. So I'm gonna do that now. You can see here the wiring goes back to a block so all of the igniters share the same lead and effectively have their own independent connection to the firing system. Let's see how that went then. All four fired okay this time, but let's have a look in slow motion to see the differences between the two types of igniter. No prizes for guessing that the JTEX are the two on the left. This comparison I think really brings home how much more violent the JTEC igniters are, that they produce more sparks than flame, they fire quicker, but are over quicker as well. Let's do another four igniters, that's two of each. And again, let's have a look at a slow motion replay of this. In this clip, apart from the obvious differences between the two igniter types, you can see a variance in the power levels within each type too. Today's testing complete then, and some early conclusions to come to I think you can see without any doubt that the MJG JTEC igniters fire significantly differently to the unbranded igniters that I've been using. So the JTECs produce more sparks and a more violent explosion compared to a flame. Secondly, and potentially hugely important, if you're thinking of swapping from using unbranded igniters to using JTECs and you fire multiple igniters in series, then you will need to take into account that the capacity of a firing system to fire unbranded igniters might be completely different than its capacity to fire JTEC. So we've seen at the start of the video, my ignite system couldn't fire 10 of these where it could fire 10 unbranded igniters. In a separate video that I'm filming at the moment, my 1Q 9 volt system also couldn't fire five JTECs where it could fire five unbranded igniters. So Ahead of me doing further tests on various firing systems with these igniters, uh, I urge you, if you are firing multiple igniters of this type in series, please run your own tests to find out how many it can fire. Don't rely on tests done using unbranded igniters. Thirdly, we've seen in these tests here that mixing igniters in series caused a problem. So two JTECs and two unbranded igniters don't play well together in series, but they wired in parallel okay. So please keep that in mind. The obvious advice I think is where possible don't mix igniters, but if you are, consider using parallel wiring or indeed running your own tests first. Finally, in terms of consistency, we've seen in today's tests that branded igniters don't bring consistency of power output to the table. Like the unbranded ones, some of these flare up quite a lot, some less so. However, if you take a look at this photo, what I'm showing here is the lowest and highest performing unbranded e-match, but on the right, 
I've put a freeze frame from the weakest JTEC igniter that I could see in today's test. So you can see here that although there is variation in power from the JTECs, that the weakest performing JTEC was still more powerful than the strongest performing unbranded igniter. Do bear in mind, however, that these igniters react so differently that comparing freeze frames from a video is not a very scientific way to compare their output. These tests, I think, have also established that it's a characteristic rather than a flaw of igniters that there will be a variation in output between each one. If you look closely at the heads themselves, they do appear to have been dipped in a composition and then that dries, so I think that explains the small variations between each one. So where does that leave us then? Well, if you're a professional, I'll say the same thing I did in my unbranded igniter test. With no failures of any of the igniters to go off, I don't think as a professional you've got anything to worry about. Typically you'll be using igniters to light quick match or lifting charge, so a flame of any strength will do the job. For us consumers, it's a little bit more complicated if we're wanting to light Fisco fuse, which has a protective outer sheath. The big question now will be whether JTEC igniters with their short, sharp, but more violent explosion are going to be better or worse at lighting Visco than the unbranded igniters with the longer burning but smaller flame. I have of course been out in the garden testing exactly that and I will report back in a video very soon with my findings. Whatever your use case for igniters is, professional or consumer, today's tests have at least given a clean bill of health thus far to MJG JTEC igniters. Well, I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.